We're here. Hey, we're back. Yes, after a long series of me not being able to do videos. Yeah, and in the meantime, I have moved to a new place. Nice. Yeah. It is pretty nice. I still live with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be living with my parents if it wasn't for the fact that my mother basically made me live move out because her stepfather uh because my stepfather basically had to move into the house because he was we taking care of the grand his uh mother until she passed away and now basically he wanted to get rid of this old place because stuff and yeah i basically he needed to live at our house and we had no room so i had to go <laughs> mm. well you you got owned i think uh, I guess it's a technical term yeah, yeah. Thankfully, thankfully, my mother basically, she she was like at first like, oh, it's not gonna be that hard. I remember moving out as a kid, and then like, oh, when I was in my own place, you know, it wasn't that bad. And then she did like a week of apartment searching. I was like, oh yeah, this is fucking terrible. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna help pay for this. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's my problem right now. Is I can't afford it. Yeah, basically. Like, literally, the only reason why I'm able to live on my own is because... Or at least for a while, it was because uh, my mother was basically paying for me. Because otherwise, I'd be screwed. Mm -hmm. Well, not completely. I'm paying most of it, but she just covers the slack. <laughs> was that going to be a Shrek joke? What Was it? I wasn't paying attention to the video. Well, uh, she goes, Donkey! As, like, one of the options. <laughs> oh. Maybe, I mean, they're in, they're in the food donkey. It is top. I mean, she is a millennial. She does think Shrek is ironically hilarious. As a millennial, I will fight you. <laughs> Look, I no, will no, 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 no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Shrek is hilarious. I'm saying that thinking Shrek is, like, ironically liking Shrek is hilarious. But uh, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> look, I don't make the rules, okay? Uh, do you make the Shrek? No, uh, and thank God I don't. Because Shrek is bad. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Cheeky! Love that cheeky! I remember I, I went, I, I think I went green bees, mac and cheese, and then chicken with the shake and bake thing. Mm, yes, um, so the trick is never get shake and bake because it'll never work out. Oh, it doesn't? Yeah, no, I, this is, this is a perfect dinner run that I'm doing. It was mac and cheese, it was, uh, the cream of chicken soup. It's gonna be, I, um, I didn't chicken know you without could do the a shake and bake. perfect run. <laughs> <laughs> and the biscuits. Like, how does that affect this? I <laughs> you instead of saying yeah, that was okay, they're like yeah, this is really good, thanks. Oh, okay. Of course, me friends. I always want the chicky. Yes, do it. Even Dad thinks it's gonna be a great dinner. I and guess. Also, uh, I told you that in advance. So. <laughs> I, I I guess I guess I'm just uh, getting. I just I guess I'm just getting the. Uh, uh, the. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna get the true ending when I play it again if I don't do that. 
I, 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 probably not not the case, but you know. Oh, well, I mean, like the house. I'm going to see that sweet cutscene where May like beats up a bunch of heartless. No, that's the other game that I'm in an LP of. Wait, what? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2, baby. Oh, okay. Oh, you're doing a Kingdom Hearts 2, 2 Let's Play? Okay. I'm I'm not, but I'm in it. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I would never willingly play Kingdom Hearts 2 and record it for the internet. Uh, that is too I much work. work. I that is would. too Just much work. I that ha- game is too long. <laughs> I have too much to say about it is the thing. Mm. Like... Um, I'm actually, uh, I actually just recently beat Kingdom Hearts 1 again for the first time in, like, years. And it's the, uh, final mix one, so it has, like, the content that I didn't see. Though, most of that content I'll never see all the way through because it is impossibly difficult to do. Yes. Um, but, uh, but, like, yeah, then I start doing, uh, re-chain of memories, which is, okay. It's just, you know, okay. I yeah, I don't know. know much about it, so... It's, like, okay, um... It's basically the same game as Chain of, Chain of, as Chain of Memories, except it's in 3D, which has its benefits and its downfalls. Uh, and... Uh, I don't know. It's... I, I just don't really like Chain of Memories in general. I just don't. I, it's... Fair I, enough. I, I can't do the deck stuff. I'm not smart enough for that. Um, I can't build the deck. So, uh, even when people give me tips, I tend to not do very well. So, I'm just going to be like, you know what? I got to about the halfway point. I'm just kind of going to just skip over to Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, I don't think that the, you're missing a whole lot by not playing the side games. So I mean, Sora literally forgets everything that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, so, like, it's not necessarily that important. I know what happens. I've looked it up. I've seen the Wikipedia. I don't fucking care that much. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like the other side games. Like, I would honestly say that, I, I, like, uh, hot take here, uh, Kingdom Hearts Coded is more playable than Train of Memories, okay? I believe that. Yeah. Like, Coded is just basically a boring 3D rpg platformer thing it's not terrible it's just very bland um well chain of memories is just like incomprehensible and there's so many new mechanics to it that it just does not feel like kingdom hearts Mm -hmm. yeah no i I feel you i'm with you um it's it's kind of like if if you it's sort of like zelda 2 if you know someone who says that their favorite kingdom hearts game is chain of memories chances are they are a douchebag (laughs) <laughs> I think that's probably not fair to Zelda 2 fans. <laughs> Zelda 2 is bad. Fuck you. I've never, I've never played the NES Zeldas because I never had a uh, in on the Super Nintendo. Look, I, uh, I've played Zelda 1 and 2. Zelda 1 is okay. Um, it's not my necessarily my thing, but I respect for what it is. Uh, because it's just way too incomprehensible for me. But then again, that's kind of the point, I guess, because that's how it was back then. Um, and it, I feel like Breath of the Wild does what the first Zelda was trying to do a lot better, which, of course, it yeah. did. It was like 20 years of games in the meantime to figure it out, but, you know, still. Um, the uh, uh, Zelda 2 is just like... It's a dull, side-scrolling action RPG that is explains absolutely fucking nothing... And also just doesn't have a good story, which is like the excuse that most people have about RPG people playing RPGs that are bad. Um, and I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's such, it's, it's something I cannot stand. I do not like it. It does not feel like a Zelda game in any capacity other than the fact that there's some dungeons, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's also no. bullshit difficulty, like even more so than the first Zelda. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. It is so difficult in ways that are just... Ugh. Oh, yeah, we're talking over the most uncomfortable scene in all video games. Yeah. I love to have a fight with my good friends. Uh, I've been uh, in this space before. Yeah, it's not a good place to be in. Yes. I mean, like... 
like again i think i've talked about this on a previous episode but just like people who say that may is unlikable and uh just is not like it's just an unlikable jerk doesn't know what it's like to be this age in this era <laughs> because there's just so much shit that may does i can really relate to and her way that she thinks about things and how she deals with things like i wasn't necessarily much of a troublemaker but goddamn i relate to so many things of her experience that it makes me kind of feel shitty if people say that may is like a terrible character when i mean yeah she's not a necessarily good person at the beginning but that doesn't make her a bad character she's literally growing up yeah yeah no i remember being 20 i was an idiot yeah everyone was a fucking idiot when you're 20 if you weren't an idiot when you're 20 goddamn what what did you do like, like how did your parents raise you right in that regard and like what what kind of weird circumstance of like happenstance and privilege did you get to the point where you came out 20 and came a fully functional human being <laughs> football football I'm the garbage football I am the garbage boy. Garbage boy stink man belongs in the toilet. That's me. I say that as I swig from my LaCroix. <laughs> I've never had LaCroix. So. Um, okay, so it 100% is just one of those things where it's like, you have to have the genetics to find it tolerable. And I do. Uh... Uh, I do not blame people who do not like it. It is definitely a bitter drink, uh, especially if you get the grapefruit fruit kind, but it's just the right level of refreshing, in my opinion, for me. Mm. Okay. It's also like good in mixed vodka. drinks. Vodka? Vodka is good. Oh, mix, yeah, I, I've actually mixed uh, Southern Comfort with LaCroix, and the most, the most white, dr- white trash, like, friggin mixed drink imaginable and it was actually pretty good hmm. you know my favorite mixed drink is that i ever made what's that uh i called it the ironic screwdriver it was orange vitamin water <laughs> and Karl marx brand vodka <laughs> finally the bourgeoisie and the uh, <laughs> and the people they unite As, in one drink. This was uh, in 2006 when 50 Cent still owned the majority shares of vitamin water also. <laughs> <laughs> before, oh he sold the, before he sold it to Coke. Wait, I didn't even know that. I thought that he fucking... Like, I did not know that he healed like 50% of vitamin water. I thought it was like... like I didn't realize that's why he was, that's why he was in the fucking ads. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was the majority shareholder for uh, the first couple of years of that company. Jesus. And then eventually sold all his shares to Coca-Cola, and now they own the company. I'm honestly... I'm honestly kind of shocked that they Coca-Cola didn't already own it. Because they kind of own every drink that's not owned by Pepsi. <laughs> that's not true. There's the Snapple is separate from both of those. For now, yes. Like, I'm just saying that we're getting, like, really dangerous close to the, by and large, apocalypse that fucking uh, Wally talked about. I hate Wally, but that is one of the few things I actually did enjoy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's play some bass. Hell yeah. Whoa, is there a new song? You missed it. It was Go Get Dead Angel Face. No, I know. <laughs> May, will, May will not let you play that song. <laughs> Aw, Damn. I want to see that. Fuck you, man. <laughs> but there are two new songs that you can, that other than Space Dragon, that we have not seen yet, so that'll be good. <laughs> 